Hey guys, thanks for checking out uh, Realistic Underwater Mermaid number five. Um, I tried to shorten that from the last one I did. Still working it out. Anyway, so here's a quick overview of the layers here. So the first one you have bubbles and texture. You can turn this texture on and off. You can also change the color of it. So you can see that goes to a yellow. Just double click this square and you can change it to whatever uh, color you want it to have an overlay if you, if you do it all. Um, the next here and the bubbles, control T and you can move those around so that they can be in front of your model. Um, and there's several of them. So there's some that come from the fins and there's some that come from the bottom. So you can modify those and move those as you wish. This is a, um, a dust layer that you can turn on and off as well. And then the tail is separate so that you can move it, um, modify it. I have left, um, I've changed the color here so you can change it as well if you'd like. Um, you can reduce the opacity of my change or you can just double click here and uh, use your slider here to make the changes as well. Um, and your this is my sample model, but your sample model will go right here. And then there's also four different backgrounds to choose from. So there's this one, you can turn it on and off, this one, and this one, um, just to give you some variety in selections. And so this is the number five of this style of mermaid that I've made. Um, if you're watching this uh, from Etsy, go to terramapes.com to purchase it. You'll get a direct download. You won't have to go through the link thing due to Etsy's restrictions. And I always um, try to price it a little lower on my site than um, Etsy. And I have double the number of backgrounds on my website. So in case you didn't know, um, terramapes.com has double the amount and lower prices and don't miss out. So I uh, can't wait to see what you make. And until next time, stay enchanted.